So NYPD Lieutenant Robert Catani has apologized, but what he's apologized for might confuse you and shock you a little bit. Basically, Catani in an email last week to other police officers apologized for kneeling in solidarity with George Floyd and the protesters aligning with Floyd. We saw images all across the United States in various communities, big and small and in between, of police officers doing things like kneeling and doing other forms of actions in solidarity with protesters. Now, myself and many others weren't convinced that these moves were genuine, that these were PR publicity stunts by cops, by police officers, to make them look better in the eyes of the media and the protesters. But a lot of people found these moments inspiring. And if you look at Katani, however, he's saying he's ashamed of that. He's saying that it made him look bad as a cop, that he showed weakness, that he dishonored himself the badge and the other officers that serve with him by kneeling and that it was a sign that he was sort of deferring to the mob, deferring to the riot, deferring to the protesters instead of standing strong for law and order. And so his email isn't apologizing for all of the things that he might have done and that police collectively have done to citizens, especially poor citizens and racialized citizens, black people and Latinos and indigenous people in particular. He's not apologizing for that. He's not apologizing for the centuries of unjustifiable force that have police have levied upon innocent citizens that wasn't needed. There's no apologies there. The apology is he dared to show a bit of humanity and a bit of dignity and solidarity to and with the protesters and George Floyd, and those who faced similar fates to George Floyd, including people in New York, like Eric Garner. That's the simple truth here. He's not apologizing to regular people. He's apologizing to the corrupt and toxic institution of the NYPD of, and of policing more broadly defined. And this is one of the reasons, folks, that I don't know that policing is reformable. I don't know that the art of policing, not just this department, not just this city's policing, not just the policing in the United States even, but policing universally, I don't know if you can make it better. I'm sure you can make it somewhat less awful, but I don't know if you can ultimately develop policing into an institution that isn't fundamentally bad. Because what we see from the internal culture, and we weren't meant to see this, this email was from last week and it was leaked to sources like the New York Post and others. But what this is showing is that police officers internally put pressure upon one another to stand up for awful actions out of this dedication to the badge, to the thin blue line. And that the real weakness isn't taking the life of an unarmed person. What's weak is showing, hey, maybe the protesters have a point. Maybe the protesters have a point. If you show that for one second as a police officer, then you're weak. Then you're dishonoring the badge. And that's why policing fundamentally is toxic. It's a broken, rotten culture. And this also exposes the publicity stunt nature of it. Because on the one hand, this was sort of ad hoc. This was sort of something that he says they did as the spur of the moment, but that he regrets. But he also makes it very clear that we did this because we wanted to basically appease the, the crowds. We wanted to appease the protesters there for George Floyd. And we thought maybe if we did this, then it would be a better environment for everyone. And he says, I was wrong and I regret doing that. And this is what a lot of people have been saying, that all of these videos of police officers kneeling, of putting their fists up in solidarity, of marching with protesters, of doing fun dances and of giving out, you know, water bottles and masks to people that need them, all these sorts of things, that these were first and foremost, at least from an institutional level, publicity stunts to make the police not look like the instigators and agitators 
and escalators and aggressors that they have been not only during the George Floyd protests, but for the vast majority of the history of American policing. And they're just, they're just trying to paper over it. And that the cops internally hate having to show respect to citizens, especially black citizens. And I'm guessing he sent this out because he heard from some of his fellow officers, how dare you show respect to protesters. And so he's backtracking because he knows he's got to make good to the, the, the mostly men, but the men and women that he serves with. That's the culture. This is mask off this email. The police don't want to show you respect. They don't want to show you deference. They don't want to have to think that you actually are equal to them. They think they're better than you. This, is, this proves it. Especially, again, if you're racialized, if you're poor, if you're disabled. If you're anything other than, you know, the, 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 the kind of status quo elite of your given culture. Simple as that. So share this around because people need to realize... That these kneeling stunts were either blatant publicity PR efforts on the one hand, or are something that officers hated doing and did out of this feigned desperation. 